Hey YouTube, Cyan here, and it's that time of the month, my favorite time, where we get a brand new Honkai Star Rail character. Today's video is going to be focused on our newest Harmony unit, Robin. Now, I like to call them Harmony because I feel like Harmony is the strongest unit in the game. Now, we will be looking at this character on the Creator Experience server, so things are technically subject to change, but if it does, it'll probably be very, very minor. Other than that, let's get back into it. But for today, we're going to be looking at our uh, Robin's build. So right now we're looking at a roughly around 3.4 thousand attack on her. So you can edge out a little bit more attack on Robin. Um, reason her attack is kind of lowish because I'm running speed boots. Let's not talk about it. But for this video, I am running speed. It's not too serious, but I just want to clarify that. Um, in terms of her other stats, I don't think they matter too much. Most of her kit is going to revolve around her having a really high base attack so that she gets the most attack bonus from her ultimate. Now for our two main showcase characters, because unlike most um, like cone videos where I kind of just focus on one character, Harmony units, their benefit comes from a team composition. So we're going to be looking at a team damage. So we have two other units here supporting us and bringing the big guns gun number one it's going to be topaz and numby our reason for bringing her is because she's a follow-up attack unit one of uh robin's abilities in her traces is that she gives a boost to follow-up attacks um reason i wanted to run topaz was because she gives follow-up attack with numby so she can also do follow-up attacks on her basic attack as well so it gives me a little bit of flexibility as for teammate number two, we'll be running Clara. Clara benefit here is twofold. One, she's a follow-up attack unit as well, though her follow-up attacks are a lot less consistent due to her needing to be hit or an ally being hit while her ultimate's up. Secondly, she does share the same typing as Robin, which is a very big thing because planetary rendezvous exists meaning that Clara can get the full powerhouse ability from that and get exponential damage out of it. That pretty much explains most of the team. We'll be using Quahua, but she really is just there because I just wanted to bring a typical team people might use so that's more realistic rather than being like, oh, let me double up on harmonies or bring three DPS. Anyways, let's get into the actual testing. Now, when it comes to the setup, it's very straightforward. Our goal is just to burst out as much damage as possible while Robin's buff is up. Now, if you watch my previous like home videos, you might notice I've changed quite a bit um, in terms of the format for this. We're getting to a point where there's so many like cones in the game that it's going to be kind of hard to show off every single like cone. So we're going to be doing a little bit of funny work because I, I don't want these videos to be too long. Now, I've decided to put four light cones at the same time, and it's going to be the best four light cones for each rarity. So the best four light cones for the five star rarity, and then the best four light cones for the four star rarity. Right now, we're looking at the five star rarity, which happens to only be four light cones. Brian light cone would never have made it, honestly, if there was another light cone, but there's not. So therefore, we're running Brian's light cone. It is what it is. I've also decided to include breakdowns for each character so you can see how much damage they contributed uh, and how much damage they do in comparison to the best light cone, which would usually end up being the signature light cone. Um, right now, we're going to be looking at the four star light cone. So when it comes to the four star light cone, there's a lot to talk about. Starting off Planetary Rendezvous, it's only going to benefit Robin and Clara. Very important. Now, the Battle Pass Light Cone is actually very good for Robin because Robin's a very one turn move character. She does her ultimate and then she stays in her form for a little period of time, meaning that with a little bit of luck, you can consistently get out the critical damage. Um, and finally, we have Clocky's Light Cone. Now, this is probably the biggest Light Cone. Clocky's Light Cone will not work with your traditional follow-up attack team. If you're running Clara and Topaz, you cannot run the Light Cone, it's not good. However, if you do want to um, run that light cone, it's best recommended you run your standard team, but you will be taking a loss because you won't be able to get the follow-up attack damage when you run the clocky light cone. 
it is what it is that's the only way to really run it while the tomorrow's light cone it's probably the most consistent of the four light cones here it'll give you consistent damage but it will not have the peak that the other light cones may have so let's keep that in mind now we're on to the final light cone rankings so if the light cone has an s5 in the bottom right corner you can assume that's the s5 variation of it keep in mind if it's not there you can assume that's the s1 i won't be doing anything in between that because that'd just be ridiculous i am considering doing s5 for five star light cones i'll probably end up doing the herder light cones the herder shop so that would be like um fall of an aeon and whatnot and i'm also considering doing the five star light cones we can trade for which would be like brania's light cone in the future but that would depend on how people feel about that so leave it in the comments if you want to see that in the future i won't be doing it for anything else unless people ask for it so if you guys want to see like this signature light cone s5 and stuff just let me know and then i'll add that to the list otherwise i just won't add it because i don't think it's too practical for a majority of players another thing to mention here is that light cones are very very team specific right when it comes to harmony when it comes to like a solo character like a dps character it's, it's a little bit hit or miss as well but it's not nearly as hard um certain light cones here can do better like clocky's light cone if you're running a team that would benefit from that meaning a team that will do damage on their ultimate makes makes clocky's light cone a better option however for the team i ran that's not going to work so just keep that in mind for that certain instance um brian's light cone it will never really work with robin because it's too hard to really get that situation to always play out the way you want it to so good luck on that planetary rendezvous is probably the best option if you're just running clara as the only dps just keep that in mind otherwise you're better off running another light cone because it do you do get a drastic drop on it if you remove clara or if you add another DPS as you run a two DPS setup. I do recommend most people run a two DPS setup with Robin, but you can get a little bit issue there. As for um, the battle pass light cone, it's RNG, it's not gonna be consistent, but you can always just restart if you get unlucky and generally so early in the fight that it's okay-ish. Um, that's in my opinion, but let me know how you feel about that in the comments down below. If you have any questions for me, then leave them down below and I'll try to respond to them. Otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You got some information. I'm gonna catch you in my next video coming up sometime later this week. Until then, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Peace out.